Hi, it's Hazy and welcome to my channel. Today I am showing you how to make this. Now, if you look, now this is what other people haven't done on their videos, even though they've done the same thing. I've got all these the, side, the right way up. I've got these as well. Like, yay! Right, I've got these. So it's a four pocket thing. I've got these the right way up. That's the right way up. That's the right way up. Doesn't matter if they're not the right way up anyway, but because I've got, look, on the back. Yeah, okay. That's why I've done that for. Look, I might even remember which order they're going. Yay! <laughs> why is that pushing that down? Stop it. It's because we're having an argument. Don't. Now behave. Right, and this one goes there. So you've got this one that actually there, that one there. This one that, oh, I put that one there. And let's have a little book in the middle this time. There we go. How about that? How's, how cute are they? Thanks very much to Ivy for these. Not exclusive to me. You can get them on, uh, I think it's Junk Journaling for Everyone. I'm not sure. So I, well, either Junk Journaling Everyone or, or, or Friendly Journaling People. Um, right, so, okay. So I've done that. And look, this is what happens if you followed the directions of what you normally do that's what happens you get the but this is the back this is not you get that beautiful thing on the back and you get that so i've show i'll show you how to do that it's ever so easy it is when you know how because i'm sure i'll get it i sure do something really stupid but you ha hopefully you have a laugh and there's a mini one how about that yeah mini one look so we've got that that side that that side i haven't got any words on that actually i could do that i could write those and I've got some um, pretty paper there, a lot that I've uh, embossed or, if you like, textured. And um, oh, a long, long little, long little tag. Yeah, I put I put a ribbon on that. I made a little tiny faux postcard. Look at that! How cute is that? Just by doing, just by. See, I've made them all myself. I always make them myself because I don't like using. <laughs> cut out ready-made stuff i don't like it i just I prefer to do my own because i think it's more creative uh, oh look and and people can do their own and this and i think this should be a bit more i mean i have to do my own because <laughs> you know i haven't got any stuff right and i've done that's one of my own little labels i've made i've got a video on that video on this and obviously i've got a video on making this and how to do it so it's the other way if i've got that one back for it so is that one the... you can't tell because that's on the side no that one's the right way around as well i have got one that's not oh it's this one i haven't put this one together but that one is how it's it can turn out if you've got a if you've got a, the other side the other side actually either the same that's how it would turn out but I'll show you how to get it the right way around like these two. Okay, ooh, aren't they nice? Ooh, prototype, which is three inch one and the I think it's a three inch one. Yeah, that's a three inch one and that's a five inch one. I haven't got four, that's actually a four inch one. Could do that. But I've got a three and a five. And there's the four one. Okay, I could do that. I'm not doing it on video now though. I've done all these. <laughs> it's taking me hours. Right, because of various interruptions and things. Anyway, please subscribe to my channel if you want to know how to make it all the right way round, not upside down or weird. <laughs> and have the pretty stuff on the other side. So if you want to know how to do that, let you know, have a have fun. Please give me a comment as well. Subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up as well if you like this idea. If you think I've gonna done a good job as well. Because I hopefully you think I've gonna done a good job. Or gonna do job, I was gonna say. Um and please uh, press the notification bell with your crafty fingers, even if they've got glue all over them. Okay. And please join my Facebook group. Yay! And there we've got printables. I've got some uh what have I got on there? These not those. Not those dears it's not those i've got something really pretty on there those things like that pretty stuff actually it's not that but i can make i can put that on there actually i might do that for a laugh because i can 
Aha, yes I can and then they've got these yes and that's probably yes I do them I do everything I do a few things that's wrong but it's funny wrong okay it's not it's not disastrously wrong it's funny wrong and um show you how to obviously carry on and do it yeah funny wrong so I don't mind you having a laugh I don't mind you having a laugh anyway. You can laugh at me. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. No. Even if it's, um, even if it's, you think it might upset me. Don't worry. It won't. <laughs> I'm not easily offended. Okay. There we go. Right then. So let's go and show you how to uh, show you how to get the, all the right way round. Then. Okay. Then let's go. Hi. So this is what we're making today. One of these little wet. Actually, we're making a five-inch one. But I'm making one of these and I was a bit annoyed because it came out like that with that at the back rather than the pretty bit I mean I don't mind that obviously but I wanted that sort of thing so I've made it made one of the made it like this and normally when you do it like they do it on the other videos they actually have it upside down but I've got it all the right way round doing it like this method so I'll show you how to do that as well so instead of ending it up like that which is the back back to the front instead of the pretty bit and also is the other one that's how you would normally if you've got a nice pretty background it, it, it ends up upside down anyway so I've got that and that all the right way around I don't mind it being upside down it's just that I thought I may as well do it the right way round as you do right so this has got four pockets one two this is the third one and i'm trying to put them in order and that always does that this is um that's textured paper or if you like embossed paper that i've self embossed show you how to do that on another video look a mini postcard yay and a little book as well got a new little i'll put a little book in the new one so that's that's the three inch one the one i'm doing is that's actually a four inch one so that you can tell how big that is that's the four inch one and then the new one i'm doing is the five inch one so and that's also a four inch i think but you won't see that but i wanted it you know the right way right i wanted it um the background the same similar to that so unless you like i mean you can do that if you like it's entirely up to you if you like both both together that's fine but i just wanted to make sure it was all the white right way around so if you need to do that i'll show you how to do that so let's uh let's go on to the next bit then i'll get my scoreboard board out and my mini guillotine okay Right then, so I've got my scoreboard. Da, 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 no, it's very dirty. <laughs> Needs cleaning. And I've got a my mini mini guillotine. There we go. Now, I found out. I found out something about this. I'll tell you on Doom G Pulse. Okay. Right. So how do we do it then? How do we do that thing? I'm going to use the guillotine because I know something I'm like. <laughs> you've got to make it. I think you've got to score it this way. Okay. Right. So this is. You score this, wait, well, you score it at 4, 7 and 10, but instead of doing it in 4, 7 and 10, I'm going to start at 10. If you want to do it like, if you've got a horrible back like mine, my horrible back, <laughs> horrible back is in this. No, actually, that's okay, but obviously it's, you don't want that, do you? It's a bit boring. Why do you want that when you've got that lovely picture on there? So what I'm going to do is score it there. I think it's there. Is it there? Yeah, because that will come that way up. So what do you do then right now so you cut it off a little bit so there's the bend there so you cut it off about oops now this will be confusing everybody who's made this before because nobody will know how to nobody's done this i've seen i'm pushing it with the guillotine because it's easier okay why have i got three lines there no mind it won't matter it doesn't matter because it's about two it doesn't have to be two exactly right so then you've got this piece here okay then you turn this round Okay, and then you score at four and seven. This is what I remember from last night, so I'm sorry if I'm wrong. 
okay <laughs> so, <laughs> so that will make this all be the right way round that won't it and I, and I, oh, I bad on that wrong not that right so there we go so what you do now is join these pieces together i've got a nice straight line this time doesn't matter if they don't match because they won't see that but at least you'll have it the right way around and get a piece of washi tape I, did, well, I was using little circles last night. You won't be able to, I don't know if you can see them actually. Have I covered them up? Oh no, there they are. I've used these to fasten them together last night. Although I had my washi tape next to me and I didn't know it was buried. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Right, so I'll get some washi tape. I know I had some in this room. I didn't know I didn't have any in, in the other room. Right, so it's this way around. Right, I've got it wrong, haven't I? I've done it wrong. I've done it wrong. I've done it wrong. It's oh, that has got to be. Oh, ignore. Look, misses. You've done it wrong way round, haven't you? Right. Can you see what I've done? Right, I've done it the wrong way round. It's got to be. That's got to be facing that way. Honestly, what am I like? Right. Okay. So this is good. Should be this way round. I don't know if I've cut it out, but I've did it the other way around. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be the opposite way around. Right, I have got it written down. Where's my tape gone? I'll put it back now. I haven't got it down. Right, I can probably show you a bit neater this time because last time that tape was all over the place. Right, okay. So hopefully I've cut that bit out, but it's got to be the other way. Look, I've got it everywhere. Look. Oh, she won't do there. Oh no, what's that? I knew this last night. I've got it all written down. And that proves that not washi tape does tear. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, there's me trying to show you something really wonderful and really impressive. And it was the wrong way of blooming round. Right, okay. Right, so there we go. So that's all the right way around that. So you may as well, if you're gonna do it one if you're gonna do it that way, you may as well do it that way. That's not brought it very careful, is it? Why is that? Oh. I didn't do any of this on the, on the original. Why is it doing that? Yeah, I'll have it like that and I could bone fold it down there. Right, okay, so right, what happened there was I didn't have any of this disaster on me when I was doing it last night but there we go at least it's showing you what to do when you've done it when it's gone wrong right, okay none of this disaster is happening but there we go right okay so now what I've done is that was probably wrong then that's probably that other one. right so I've got if you've got it want it aligned just push it down to where you want it aligned and then use a bone folder scissors edge of night whatever you know to, to use to pen even that might do it that might have done it yeah just to get it all aligned now so now it's all flush and if it's not quite flush, that's not actually quite flush but that little tiny bit won't matter okay so there we go right all right so we have the impact imperfections now it's the gluing part okay so let's get the and you may need a ruler for this if you haven't got any downward line oh, right so what you do is and i'm hoping this is going to be right is glue this bit these here so I've folded this because it's this way you don't glue. Okay, we don't glue in a minute. You'll glue that in a minute. Oh, little piece of paper trying to get in on the act. Well, I might use you. I don't know. Okay, but there we go. And I'm just going to put some a bead of glue down here and here. If it's going to comply. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> so now you glue that. 
And if it seeps out, obviously get a cloth. Okay. And then you will do this one as well. But right, there's a little bit there that's annoying me. I'm going to cut that off and that shouldn't affect that glue because it's going to be right at the edge there. Oh dear. Not straight now. And then there's a bit there that must be, must be a bit here as well then. See, I'm <laughs> never had this last night. But this is a five inch one, it's slightly bigger. Do you know what you should have done? Cut the corners off, but it doesn't matter. I can do that now. Right, you can cut off the corners of these as well, if you like, before you do it. It's up to you. <laughs> And then it's time to glue. This is the tab bit. Yes, this is the tab bit. So I'm going to glue. It's all the way down, but obviously you don't have to do it all the way down if you don't want to. And it's nearly six and a half each one. So the middle is there. It doesn't matter if you draw a line down it, actually, because you're not going to be able to see it anyway. It's going to be hidden. Yay. So what I'm going to do is draw a line. This is my um, set square. One of my, one of my, one of my tools I like to use when I want to get things accurate okay there's a T there's a T bar you can get as well but I want it accurate because I want to know where the glue is going to go that's going to go so I'm going to go it down there so I only need to really put it on one so I don't know why I've done that we can make quite big tabs can't you okay Oh, yeah, and that's another thing you're supposed to do as well. Glue along the bottom. <laughs> I don't know what I've done up there, but it doesn't matter. Cause I have to make that thing a little bit shorter. Won't, oh, well, it won't be very big anyway. Let's see how big it's going to be. Let's have a look. I'm quite good at converting into inches now, she says. Okay. Um, so you'd want it something like five. That's two inches. And by, let's get it into the two and a bit, two and a half inches. Ooh, right. Right, so I haven't got my inker upper still. I have got an inker upper, but I don't want to use it because I've been using it for ages and I like this method. I'm just doing it using a marker. This is a, um, a warm grey. And I was saying, the other day I said, why on earth have I got, I saw a pack of the, the pack of the massive pack of them, about 12, I think, 12 might pack, but 10 probably. And why have I got those? I'm, and I was going to draw, you know, and do some illustrations and do it in black and white sort of things. But why on earth did I buy those? Anyway, I found some beautiful uses for them. There we go. There we go. There we go. I've done some faux stitching and the markers around the edges there. Right, I'm going to check my little openings. Yeah, I'm fine. Tag openings and you can see in the middle it's glued. There we go. We've got two pockets here. So basically four pockets. Is it quad pockets or something they're calling it? Right, I found this. Let's see if it's big enough. It's got to be five in. That's four by three. I have to use it as a piece of something. I put it in half and it might fit in one of these. But it won't fit under there and it's going to break it in it. Oh, it fits. That's about two inches is five, isn't it? And it's about four. Look at that. And what's that like for a 25 year old piece of machinery there? Let's see how big these are. Is that too small? That's too big, too small. <laughs> you could have it like that, couldn't you? You could have it poking out. But that is my own little design. Do you like it? It's, I made a six by six paper <laughs> myself using, um, actually it was inspired by something I saw online. I thought, well, that looks like a nice paper. I'm going to copy that. So I <laughs> just drew some um, circles, put some little circles inside then put some white dots on. Anyway, that's for one. I could use that for one, couldn't I? There we go. So that way all that way. And I could just finish them off in a bit, put little 
word or something on them. Now then, Ivy. There we go. That's good. Where do we freeze that? So it doesn't that look nice on there? Look, it really goes with it. It goes with it all, all the colours and everything. And the writing does as well. I love the writing. It's the um, it's a font. I don't know what it is, but it's a, one of the fonts. There we go. I used to work with fonts in graphic design. There we go. <laughs> all the time. No idea what that one is. And I've got that now. Look, that for there. Or I could cut a piece of that off, couldn't I? Nice to have a bit of, if you haven't got any, something to fill it with, a nice piece of textured paper. I'm going to cut a piece of that off, let's see. I think that thing buzzed, I think it's nearly dead because I don't think it buzzed very much. There we go, shall we put the side down? Okay, so I don't well, I showed you that. I'm showing you that over there, I can't tell. Right, so that's a piece of that textured paper, so that's been on video as well. I don't know, would this work? It's got to be something. I think something's got to be there. Now, something tells me round. Shame I've got a one and a half inch one, isn't it? Stamp me, God, with a stamp. I don't know what I have, but let's see. Long shot. There we go. I think that looks nice. There we go. I'm going to do some face stitching around the edge of this one. Okay. Let's put some faux tickets there. Let's put some of those in. There we go. Faux tickets. You. Yeah. Neaten it up on the back. Oh dear, that's got a piece of. I'll just cut that off. Yeah, it'll be something I stuck on there, and it's obviously just got the edge there. So, oh, shall we have some? I oh, know. It's not quite finished off, so I'm going to put some. There we go, that's better. Right, so I've got those then. I can just I've just put some circles on there because I didn't think it looked quite right. And I'm going to actually colour it as well. So I'm putting those in that one. Now we'll have it the upside down because that's too similar. That brown's too similar, isn't it? We'll have a bit of colour. Won't we? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. One thing I'm going to make, I need some paper, that'll do. Scraps, you see, bits of scraps. Right, two inches by three and a bit. Eight centimetres, right. And what I do with this is actually push it to the side because it's so old, it's actually... And it's actually working now because it wasn't doing the edge. Eight by five. Now you can see what I'm doing. Look, let's see how big that is. I'm going to make the pages about right. Or I could make two out of this one. Might do two. Right, that'll do, that'll do. That's as many as we'll need. You can put one big staple in the middle if you've got one of those. Or two of these little tiny ones if you've got one of these. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? Look. Oh, cute. Right, then I'm going to round the corner. Three with the... This is the quarter inch one because it's a tiny little book. Actually, I did that yesterday with the three quarter with the half inch. It looked terrible. Right, let's put that back. As you know, I often write my own things, but pretty sure it is. 
you know, I've put honest there because when you're writing a little book, you want to be honest, don't you? Because especially if it's going to be a little secret little thing there that people might not notice. And you've got to be honest about things, haven't you? And, and then one day when you look back, you'll be glad you've been honest. Because then <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? make it for here so cute I'm going to put some so I've just done the front for speed I've got another a couple of ideas now to do right this is very handy when you're doing tiny little things right uh, I'm going to make a journal card and a tag so let's have a go at doing those I uh, don't think it matters the length won't matter. Yeah, I'm doing it again. The length won't matter. Uh, and the width, well, so not two inches is enough, isn't it? Two inch for both. I even cut slivers if I'm careful. Oh, look at that. It's cut that. It's amazing. I, did, I didn't actually use it much. Right, we're going to cut the, uh, these tag bit off with scissors. I made that the other day. That's quite, that'd be about the right size for that, wouldn't it? Did it too small when I did it, if you, if you saw my video. Oh, come on, get in the place. <laughs> there we go. I love this project, I love this paper. So I'm going to glue that on there, and I'm going to glue that on there. And then, of course, what I should have done is put it all out afterwards so it's all the same size. But that's too that's too logical, isn't it? Right. Glue. I've got this, I've got to use this sort. Oh, here it is. I'm looking for this. It's behind me. <laughs> yeah, I love that. that green. Yeah, I love these back and white images. They look really nice on brown bolt. I'm thinking about, oh, look at that. I'm thinking about putting something behind it. You get, I don't know if we get, I don't think we get, unless you do down south, you don't really get hummingbirds here, I don't think. Gonna be too wide with that, isn't it? It's a famous talking bird, you've got no food. Right, I don't know whether to I might actually sew this, try anyway. <laughs> that doesn't work, then it wasn't work, but put that on there because very lightly with the glue. I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew through his beak though. Ooh. Ooh. So around there. I don't think I'd be able to do it. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, edge this up, I think. Okay, so I had to stop filming. Okay, but I, then I'd made this. It's a little tag so i made that off video and all it is is a tag shape proper tag that is with a cut out with a thing yes i've actually got that the right way around on this one i think i get it the wrong way around on the other one did i show you that i might not have shown you that one as well so i'm going to, going to show you that one quickly as well so it's just a piece of i think it's wildflower guide and that's a big version of those and a different type of book at the back and one of Ivy's little words and on the back it's nothing I've just inked it up with marker there I haven't gone round it in in uh, faux stitching yet but I could do that <laughs> right I could do that easily 
And the other one I didn't show you was this one, I think. I think I showed you a bit of it, but you couldn't see what I was doing because I was filming right down here and all you could see is little bits. So I'll show you that again. That's um, stitched. Stitch that onto this. Stuck that word beauty on there because I think this is a bit of a beauty. And on the back we've got that beautiful... Um, paper that I've been talking I don't know if I've actually mentioned that but anyway I'll let you know in the description okay about the paper very interesting if you'd like some paper like that let you know how to get it okay so there's those two and I think everything else is on video okay so I'll carry on now and we'll do the rest of it just got to do the tags Okay, and the tags aside. Right, okay, let's find out how big they need to be. Let's put that in there. Got a pencil there. It's a good job I did delete some stuff because I'd be stuck now, wouldn't I? Right, there we go. Let's get that straight. Let's get that straight along that edge. Making two the same. They're not quite the same. <laughs> that needs a bit of a shave. There we go. So I'm going to do. I should do it. No, I should do it two in a bit. Should do it two in a bit. There we go. And then I'm going to. Yep, that fits now. Pet not do. Crown. Crown will do. Let's see how big that is. I'm going to have to big do the other one. Right, that's six and a half. That is, uh, is it about? Oh, I thought it was an exact number, two and two. That's one and a half. Four is one and a half. That is two. Two. Probably somewhere around just over two and a half inches, I think. is what I like for the I made that lighter on purpose it's actually funny enough <laughs> when it's black it makes it lighter right okay I'm going to use that black I, I know that's a very difficult thing to do but I've got a printer okay I've got a printer before I do this I've got a printer and if you put it on unless it's on the white I might have put on the white setting as well I might have done if you put it on the black setting and put it to the right to make it go right to the right. It really makes it a lot lighter. So if that, if that explains that. And uh, so that's the one on my group, but lighter. Uh, oh, there no. Dog rose. Oh yeah, that's what came to my head. How did I know it's a dog rose? Let's have these two roses, if we can. Well, we could have these cards that way. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, we are having these cards that way, aren't we? Right. I think. Yes, it's definitely that way. Oh, that's going to be too long. Good job I did the test, isn't it? It's going to be too long. I don't suppose it matters too much. I wonder if you could do an automatic tab. Automatic tab. <laughs> I haven't got a tab punch. If you got one of those tab punch, you could have made one, but it's got to be about that much off, hasn't it? <laughs> an automatic tab punch, isn't it? Well, that is. There we go. So I'm going to cut these square and I might, I might round the corner. There you go, that'll be great, won't it? Eh, eh. Hold on. How logical. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> right, let's see if that would fit on there because I've got to do it. Oh, yeah, it would. Okay, so I'm going to cut that the same. 
Oh, so they're so, almost square, aren't they, really? I'm just cutting the corners off with this. So they're the same. So we've now got two automatic tabs, wherever they are. Oh, oh I don't think it's going to fit, is it? Where's the little one that might do it? I should have done the... Right, you can't really do the tabs afterwards, can you? No, that's not going to fit. So I'll have to cut that by hand. Look, it won't fit in there, look. Eh. Yeah, I came across that idea yesterday. When I'd already when I'd put a tab on, I think it must have been the one I didn't made anyway. Let's get on with this. So I've got that one. Which is like that. Oh, doesn't matter which way around, does it? Oh, is that gonna be too oh it's gonna be far too big, isn't it? You big thing, you big you big burnet rose. So I just have to decide what to cut off. Probably the stalk, definitely. Oh, it's out of it. Isn't it? Right. Oh, yeah, that fits now. I think I'm going to edge them up. Oh dear, I keep looking the light. I'm going to edge them up and then I'm going to just put them in as they are. Right, I need a small word, I think. I've got some two small little words. Right, even though there's a space at the top, it would not look right to me up the top. I don't know, there's something weird about it if it's at the top. I don't know why. It's up to it's entirely up to you, of course, if you think it needs if you think you could <laughs> arrange it better, don't worry. I don't I don't really really do not mind because I'm sure you can do better than me in a lot of ways. There we go. And I don't mind at all. In fact, I love it. I love a twin of inspired people. They look so nice, don't they? And they've got little journaling. Oh, no, they haven't. They were the journaling spots. I was... <laughs> <laughs> when did... They were supposed to be the journaling spots, weren't they? And they're supposed to put the brown on the brown. Actually, they do look nice on them. <laughs> <laughs> I can pause. I can find another piece of paper, right? Um, I can either leave it like that, which won't look too bad at all, will it? But <laughs> that's hilarious, right? Look, at least I realise that that's got to be. They've got to be opposite. I might have done that on purpose. Well, who knows? Right. <laughs> there we go. So if you do things on purpose, don't worry. I mean, if you do things and you haven't really got time to do anything else, don't worry. Just try and run with it and just make out you've done it on purpose. Like this. <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? Just have an hilarious laugh at yourself. <laughs> right, okay, so there we go. So now I've finished. Now I have actually finished. And if you like a laugh, honestly, I was going to have brown sticking out onto that. Little brown tabs. Well, there we go. And they are integrated. What did I call them? I don't know what I called them now. No, I didn't call them. They're actually integrated tabs, aren't they? Or something. So there we go. And I've even got some little bow things. Look as well. Bow things. Ribbons. Um, things. Right. And I'm going to introduce this now. So I'm going to say bye. And if you've had a laugh as well. If you've had a good laugh at me. Because I'm so, you know. Oh, dear. I certainly don't do it on purpose. <laughs> please subscribe to my channel please give me a thumbs up most important um share my video press the notification bell with this lovely crafty finger look at the state of my mind got glue on them please give me a comment of my video don't get seem to get many comments love a comment so if you feel sorry for me please give me a comment <laughs> and um if you don't feel sorry for me, then you know that's fine. Uh, oh, where's oh, it's not it's not in there. I was looking for the thingy paper. It's not in this one. Yeah, please join my Facebook group. On there, we we've got printables. As I said, we've got where's that paper? I've just have I used it all? Yeah, 
got this sort of paper but obviously I, i've made it a lot lighter i can do that on the group if you want me to I can send it to the group if you can't do it on your printer um i've got things like that um because i love that don't you it's really nice isn't it so pretty and um I've, that's what i've drawn as well if you'd like that on the group let me know it's a six by six paper it's uh will come out as a bigger paper but i've done it as a six by six uh that's ivy um uh, who's done these she's on the group but hmm let's see hmm ivy <laughs> right i don't know whether she would put them up, up on our group but they're on as it jumped down in for everyone or somewhere i think they're on there um but you can always print your own if you can do that um i've got some on the group as well uh that i've drawn they're a bit bigger than this though i can do small ones if you've got some small ones i can do little ones i can draw them as well i can also print them i've got some uh, plain ones okay so i don't want to go as you know as you know i don't want to go so this is what happens just don't want to go just want to stay here and talk even though i've been on here hours because we've been doing various things people come to the door and all sorts of it's been cut off okay so i'll say bye bye now look i'm waving bye bye and take please take care everybody and i hope the weather's okay for everybody bye